Hey everybody, this is Brian, and if you're paying attention, this is uh, Visual Basic Tutorial 15 in our series. Today we're going to be discussing hash tables. So we'll say dim employees as hash table. Whoops. Equal, and remember we have to assign it now. New hash table. This is strikingly similar to our a list that we did in the last tutorial, but this is a little different. What is a hash table and why do we need it? Well, one of the limitations of a list is let's say you're adding two people named Bob. Well, how do you tell the difference between the two? Well, a hash table allows you to assign a unique key or ID number to these. So you can say employees.add, and notice how it says key as object, value as object. What does that mean? Well, key is a unique identifier. This could be an integer, a string, whatever you want, because it's an object. Everything is an object in .NET. And the value is the value of whatever it'll be. So we're going to say the employee ID number, 102. We'll call this Bob Smith. Now let's try to add another Bob. We'll call this uh, Bob Hope. Notice how they have the same key. That's a no-no. When we try to run this, Visual Basic's going to explode and go, hey, hold the phone. Item already been added. The key in dictionary 102 being added is 102. Basically what that means is these cannot have the same key. They have to be unique. So let's change this to, say, 105. Now we've got two different keys. So we can add two people named Bob to our list. We haven't printed anything. I'm just showing you. Now we have two different Bobs. We can also manipulate this list based on their key. See, here's a contains key. If you're wondering what that does, it returns whether or not the key exists. Contains key 105. Let's see if Bob Hope exists. And then console dot right line say Bob Hope exists. So what we're saying is if the key of 105 exists, then Bob Hope exists. Well, why do we need any of this? We were perfectly happy with our arrays and our lists. Well, if you start working with a lot of items, and let's say you've got 4,000 names, and out of those, a thousand of them are Bob's. Well, sure, you could reiterate through them and figure out which one's which, blah, blah, blah. It's just easier if you have a simple, unique key. And that's what the hash table allows you to do, is you can find things and manipulate things based on their key. Now, a good for example is, let's just, uh, let's just change this. If employee contains, we'll say we want to find which Bob this is. Employees item and notice how when we say parentheses it's saying key as object so let's just put in 105 because that's the key we're currently referencing employees item with a key of 105 what that does is that grabs the value for us and it says Bob hope exists well we forgot to put a space in there but you understand the basic concept here let's just throw a space in there that way we've done our due diligence and people will see this actually does work. Bob Hope exists. So that's what a hash table is and why you need it. Um, I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and stay tuned.